Hola, Tulabam. Hello, everybody. How are you? Right, as promised, here we go. I am mixing these paints. I've mixed the paints. I'm now pouring them into these little cups in layers. And in these colours, I have mixed some acrylic paint, some PVA glue, and some Floetrol. I am told that you can do this with just PVA glue and without the Floetrol, which I'm going to experiment with later. So I will show you all the results. For now, I'm going to do it like this. This is the way I know and how, well I learnt off YouTube, so there's plenty of videos on YouTube, how to's. I just wanted to share this with everybody, my friends out there, my grandsons, Dylan, Finley, Jacob, hola, to la bem, and to Finley, happy birthday sweetheart, I love you, I'll see you when the planes are back in the air. Anyways, this is how you do it, guys. And for the boys and my daughter, Hannah, yes, try this with PVA glue. Um, acrylic paints. I don't know. And see how it works. It's all an experiment. It's all keeping busy on lockdown. So why not give it a try? There we go. All fun. Right, keep pouring them in layers. This is what they call on YouTube a dirty pour. There's different ways of doing it. You can have cups without the bottom on and they slide across. I'll do one of those and show you. There's swiping techniques, there's there's all kinds. There's some really, really creative, clever people out there on YouTube. Much more advanced than me. This is I'm just experimenting, I'm a beginner. But we're all on lockdown. And I'm here by myself, and I guess I could talk to myself, or the dog, but uh, it's much more fun to feel like you're communicating with the outside world, and, uh, and having some fun. Maybe inspiring some other people to be creative, you know, and let's we'll see how this one turns out, shall we? A little experiment here. Tiny drop of that one. I have done this a few times, but this is still a new game to me and still learning. Um, so, yeah. And the next one, like I said, I'll try with PVA glue only and see how that turns out. So, it makes it a bit easier for you guys with kids. Obviously, if you don't want to spend any money and you're on lockdown, um, it could be easier if you can just do it maybe with the PVA glue and obviously cheaper. So, right, here is my paints, kind of in layers, you see, in the tubs. So I'm going to do a double, double cup. And I have a canvas here, which... All I've done is just painted it with some black um, acrylic paint to uh, give it a bit of a base coat so I don't get any naked canvas coming up at the end there. Nice messy play. This is what we like. Alright, ready. Here we go. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to pour a little bit around the edges just to make sure we get some flow on the edges. And a tiny dribble around there. And then the rest, I'm going to pour some here and some here. I do attempt, attempt anyway. <laughs> That's the big word there, attempt. A double pour. Now, I've never done this. Um, so, not really sure how. How oh, that's going to turn out. Let's give it a go. Right, ready. Oh. Right. So, 
One. Two. Ah! Oh! Wow. That's kind of... Better come out like that, I guess. Wow. You see that, guys? Amazing. Beautiful colours. Just blow this around the edges. This always helps a bit to go over the corners. Alright, and then let's... Maybe make that one loose like that. Wow. Wow, look at that, guys. Can you see it? Amazing. Woo! Now the fun part. Ready? Let's go. Ah, oh, don't want to lose those colours. Well, and down. Oh, gorgeous. I'm really liking this. Look at that, guys. Don't want to lose the corners, so I'm going to try and catch it like that. Yep, excellent. Ah, and around this way, maybe this corner now. Oh, that's quite hard. It's harder than it looks. I must say, right, give that a minute and let it settle. And my favourite bit, my favourite bit, grown ups only for this bit, okay? Flame on! Now, this, this, this brings out your cells. Got your uh, silicone oil in there. See that? Can you see it popping? Um, yeah. And it brings up a lovely lacing effect. And uh, it hopefully bring those cells up to the surface and not set light to my painting. Because it was that painting, I'm afraid. But it hopefully does it. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough. Oh, yeah, that's definitely enough. <laughs> that's how you do how you don't do it. Right, hang on, I need another glove. Right, well that was fun anyway. That's my favourite bit, so flame on. Right. Then I think, let's have a look. Is there anything we would like to stretch there? Hmm. Yeah, look them that way. Stretch those ones in that direction a little. So I like that light at the top there. And let's try that, yes. Let's give that another minute to, to settle. I'm just um, quickly get the hands a wipe there. I think I might leave it at that and not. I'll give the cells a moment to stretch because it changes. They move. Oh, I can't get it to work. Stupid hands. Low flame. Bring those cells out there a bit more. Around here. And here. Come on. Cells to come up. cells stretch because they take a minute it actually moves on its own 
which is quite cool because no matter how hard you try, you literally can't control it. You can manipulate it and you can, yeah, you can work it and you can get some control, but at the end of the day, it does stretch by itself. So you have to kind of leave it to sit for a bit and, uh, and see what happens. So um, let's have a look now. Hands are all wet. Right. Okay, let's have a looky. Is anything in the stretching I really would like? A little bit more of that there. At the top. I don't want it to ruin the bottom. So, just a tiny. No, I don't really want to stretch those cells out too much, to be honest. Right, well, that's how it's done. Um, give you a little bit of a closer look. I need to take these gloves off, really. Hang on. I want to reuse them, so I don't really want to waste them. Right, so... I'll just cut that round. No, we can't. I think fair enough. There we go. Hopefully that's focusing and you guys can see it because I can't actually see what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm not very good at this YouTube filming, am I? 